Prophet is the bill, seven seven fifty media. Let's do this once more. At seventeen thirty six, my phone is on sixty six percent because the numbers always speak. A video titled Husband's Perfect Plan to Murder Wife Exposed by a Single Mistake on a channel called The Decoder just popped up. I didn't even open it. I just knew it was a divine message. On the 22nd of February 2018, a day before my 45th birthday, the Lord had me watching a movie titled A Perfect Murder, starring Gwyneth Paltrow and Michael Douglas. The Lord warned me with the words, it's not happiness to see me, is it? These were the words of the character of the wife who was supposed to have been murdered in a botched up murder plot. Her husband had ordered a hit on her. Through the years, the Lord warned me and guided me through such movies and similar situations of how my life would end if I decided to step out of his will and do my own thing. The doctors, sons and daughters of the king's personal physician, and former Minister of Health of the Kingdom, where the family of the law have the king and royal family eating out of the palms of their hands, had it all figured out. They had their personal friend's blessing. The king they brag about. And they were most excited at the prospect of the blood sacrifice they were about to make, all in the name of the altar of their adulteries and infidelities and cover-ups. It never crossed their minds that God had set up a very nice trap for them this time around, because no doubt they have done this before. In the kingdom of Eswatini, the king has regiments who pay homage to him and the queen mother as a model of the kingdom of God, where there is praise and reverence for the majesty of the king who sits on the throne. There is continual worship around the throne of God, with the king of kings seated on his throne, receiving worship night and day. The Queen Mother represents the mature church, the Bride of Christ. The regiment that His Majesty King Sobuza II and a lot of our fathers belong to is called Balondolozi. The word Umlondolozi refers to a protector, a guardian, and a preserver of life. All the time when the people of the crocodile cult, who have no respect for human life, came after me, the Holy Spirit would send me the spirit of my forefather, my king, and protective father of the people of Eswatini, His Majesty King Sopoza II. And he would leave deposits with me so that I would know that the Lord's angels and the legacy he left behind as a father would preserve my life. Psalm 91, titled Safe and Secure, in the Passion, says from verse 3, He will rescue you from every hidden trap of the enemy, meaning poisoned arrows. And he will protect you from false accusations and any deadly curse. You can run under his covering of majesty. Excuse me, you can run under his 
covering and majesty and height. Verse 8 says, You will be a spectator as the wicked perish in judgment, for they will be paid back for what they have done. God sends angels with special orders to protect you wherever you go. I have just watched one of the groups my daughter dances in called Afro Spice. God is a mastermind. 1 Kings 10 from verse 1 says in the voice, The Queen of Sheba was fascinated when she heard about the famous Solomon and his devotion to the name of the Eternal One. She traveled a long way to meet him and to challenge him with difficult questions. She arrived in Jerusalem, accompanied by many advisors, assistants, and camels, carrying spices and a lot of gold and rare jewels. When she met Solomon, she asked him everything she could think of. Solomon gave her an answer to every question. One of the girls dancing with my daughter is named Garabo. The Sutu word for an answer or for answer is Garabo. And that word or name is Mbendulo in Zulu. The Queen of Sheba says at 1 Kings 10 verse 8, Your people have been blessed as a result of living under your reign. There is something that is called a blessing for living under the reign of a king that God looks upon and he finds him just in how he looks after his country and his people. And she continues, she says, those who serve you continually are richly blessed to hear your wisdom day in and day out. Praise the eternal, your God, who believed in you enough to give you Israel's throne. He is devoted to Israel forever. That is why he has made such a great man as you, king. He knows you will dispense righteousness and justice fairly and wisely. Being a king who does what is right and wise is important to God. And the Lord does not care for the pretensions of men and women, whether they are doctors or kings. God would not honor the legacy of King Sobuza II if he was an unjust ruler. And because of such a father, a protector of his kingdom and his people, who saw fit that he should protect his people from the rot and corruption of the Westminster system and its pretended or supposed democratic ideals, which are just a lie and deception to bring disorder and all kinds of abominations of the Antichrist into the land. God preserved my life and I'm alive to tell of his holiness, of his goodness and his mercy. And I thank the Lord God for revealing to me that I had a father and a king who was a respecter and a preserver of life. This will be continued another time. Thanks for listening.